This diagram shows how we connect the two types of connections for sensors, one for the track and the block detection for track, the other for monitoring of the turnout switch machine contacts. At the top of the diagram, you see that track power is connected to one side of the track. The other side of the track is connected to the opposite side of track power, but through the BDL-168 so that the, the engine or other resistance car, such as a lighted passenger car or a car with resistance wheel sets on them, will create a resistance across the track thus creating a flow of current from the two sides of track power through the BDL-168, which senses that current flow and sends a signal to JMRI indicating that that track segment is occupied or active. Likewise, at the bottom, we show how the same thing is accomplished using a resistor and the single pole double throw switch located on the switch machine. The current flows from the one side of the track power through the switch, through the resistor, and through the BDL-168 section to indicate a current flow. Obviously, uh, that only happens when the, the tortoise switch is thrown closed which happens when the switch is in the thrown position. We want to connect it so that when the uh, turnout is in the cl closed position, that the tortoise switch is actually open, showing that there is no current flow and that the uh, sensor is inactive. JMRI considers active sensors to indicate a thrown turnout.